Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Tori and welcome and thanks for clicking this video. Uh, so today I'm doing a New Year's glam look for when the ball is dropping and you're getting ready to pucker your New Year's kiss. This is a look you can go out when you're partying. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. I make new videos every week, or I'm starting to, that's my New Year's resolution, making a new video every week. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a voiceover tutorial, and I hope you enjoy. Bye! Hello everybody, so first I'm going to take the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, which I've never used before, but I really like it. I think it made my foundation look a lot smoother. Then I'm going in with the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream in the color Medium Deep, and since that's too deep, I combined it with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser in a color that was too light for me. So mixed together, they were pretty much the perfect color. So I mixed them on my hand, then just dabbed them on my face like so. It makes me look kind of dirty because <laughs> it is a bit darker. But then once I uh, blend it out, you'll see it looks actually like a perfect match. When mixing two foundations or a BB cream and a foundation, it can get kind of tough to make sure the ratio is correct, but I usually just do a little half and half of each. Oh yeah, look at my face as I blend that out. <laughs> So next I'm going into my NYX HD concealer in the color medium and I absolutely love this concealer. I think it gives enough coverage and it hides everything in my under eyes. I always like to apply some on my eyelids kind of to prime it a bit. Obviously I, I do use a primer but I don't I think it just helps the eyeshadow stay on longer. And then I'm taking my Dream Wonder powder by Maybelline in the color Classic Beige. This is a very finely milled powder. And it looked really nice. I wasn't expecting it. It does have a lot of fallout if you use like a dense brush like me. I'm using the e.l.f. powder brush. Now I'm going into the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion thingy. Classic. Everybody has it. Everybody loves it. <laughs> and I'm just taking this eyeshadow palette I had and I'm going into a medium matte gray. And I'm using this as the transition color. I just washed my brushes like last night, so my brushes were looking kind of weird when I was filming this. So that's why sometimes like it's a little bit of a sloppy application, not on my part, but on the brushes since they were still a bit damp. So I'm just blending that in using a nice transition color. Now I'm going into this bright silver shade and yep it's going all over the lid we want to be glamified as soon as we step in a room everybody's gonna be like holy cow makeup on point so we are really gonna want to pack this on to make sure that it is nice and it stands out so much then I'm just going into this darker brown gray area and I'm just putting this on the outer crease to darken it up to give it that kind of smoky effect. I absolutely love this makeup and if it was appropriate to wear like all the time to school I would but it's a little more glam than that. I might tone it down to wear to school. Now I'm taking this black with little specks of like blue glitter. I don't know it's so pretty it's so hard to explain but it's gorgeous. I'm just putting that in the very outer corner just to kind of smoke it out even more you know. That guys might not look dramatic yet, but don't worry, we'll get there. Next I'm going back into that light silvery shade because I really want it to be pronounced. Obviously that's our glitter, that's what we're going for. If you have glitter pigments, I don't. You could always add that on top to make it really stand out. I'm putting it in the inner tear ducts. That way um, it makes my eyes look bigger and makes it pop more. I'm so excited to wear this. Now I'm just taking um, from my Walking on Eggshells palette from Wet n Wild just the highlight color because I think it's such a gorgeous highlight color and I'm using it to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm going back in with that medium brownie gray shade and just doing it on the outer waterline. Because uh, I'm doing something on the inner waterline. You just watch. 
and bam the NYX it's an eyeshadow in a silvery color I got an Etsy bag it's not the best not gonna lie I would not recommend it maybe it's just a sharp it, but I don't know it still gave me that glittery look now I'm just applying this NYC uh, eyeliner it was hard to control it's a liquid eyeliner it's kind of hard to control because it was so far away but I just want to keep it kind of drugstore relevant I'm going in with my favorite, the Maybelline The Colossal Volume Cat Eyes Express. I just think it's amazing and it gives your eyes such beautiful length and volume. And obviously you could use false lashes, but I don't use false lashes, so. Next I'm going in with this Cella Eyebrow Pencil in the color taupe. And I don't usually fill in my eyebrows, but it's New Year's, you know, you want to make it bring in the New Year with eyebrows on fleek. filling them in pretty natural I don't want to do such a powerful brow since everything else might overpower each other next we're with the NYC sunny bronzer on a big brush pretty much, pretty much all over my face I got a little something on my eye smudged a little it's another thing about the NYC like what I like it smudges it doesn't dry really quickly. I'm going into the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil. And on a contour brush by Raw Technique and just kind of carving out them cheekbones, you know. Making this contour, as I said, extreme. I want it to like walk in a room and somebody gets like a cut because it's so sharp. <laughs> So I'm just taking my e.l.f. blush brush and the Dream Bouncy blush and making it one more. So I'm just putting that all over the apples of my cheeks. I thought cream blush would be best for this since, you know, you might be partying and dancing. So I'm taking my contour brush again and this Ofra Bliss highlighter. Such a gorgeous color. And just highlighting the tops of my cheekbones. down my nose and right above my cupid's bow and my chin getting that nice and highlighted shiny and pretty just blending everything out again and for the lips I'm taking this NARS matte lip pencil in the color Cruella this is a nice red and I'm just uh, you know putting that everywhere all over my lips now you can leave the look like this or you can do what I, another option that I did, which is taking the Ulta lip gloss in the color Berry or just a red lip gloss and applying it to make it a shiny lip. And I love this look so much. Thank you guys. So Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great new year and I'll see you later. Bye.